All right, come on then. Give me your questions. Let's go. Let's get this bit over with. All right, trainer deck A or B. Dan's got to give an option. He's got to give a rationale for the option. He doesn't have to, but he might want to, but he doesn't have to. It's not a requirement. If he chooses to, it's a 10-second amount of time that he has to deliver an explanation within. And if he doesn't, a Pokemon judge magically appears. In this case, it could be Mike Martin. I'm not sure. And he will be uh, gainfully, uh, dutifully banned from the Pokemon World Championships in August in Hawaii this year. Dan, naked or afraid? Uh, naked, I suppose. What a horrible question to start with. Dan, do you watch the show? No. Dan, it's a fantastic show. It's called Naked and Afraid. Okay. You can't see anything of the naked it. people, but they're completely naked. And if they go out to a mosquito place where their entire bodies are covered and you've never seen anything like it because they are completely naked while they must live in this foreign environment for 21 days and survive without any type of uh, accoutrements other than like a knife and maybe in the mosquito area, they might have like a mosquito tent. Uh, Dan, bachelor or bachelorette? Uh, bachelor, I suppose. I, that was the show that I saw a little bit of while I was at your house because it just it seemed to be playing on your TV the whole time. Anytime during the day that I was in your kitchen getting food, The Bachelor was always on the TV. Well, and you know, Dan, that's an interesting because by the time this podcast hits, we're going to find out who Joey selected, okay? So I think everybody's excited to know, is it Daisy or Kelsey or one of those two girls? They're both beautiful. I mean, gonna win speak for yourself. I, I will not know who Joey selected by the time this podcast okay, comes fine. Out. Good point, buddy. You just stick to the... The binge watching of the, you know, Harry Potter, some from the UK. Dan, violin. Why do you. <laughs> violin or ukulele? Right. Calm yourself down and then ask that one again. Violin or ukulele? Do you say violet or ukulele? A violin. It's an instrument. It's got violin. like a string. Yeah, violin or ukulele? Uh, ukulele. All right. Do you know who was famous for play playing the ukulele back when I was a child, Dan? Uh, I don't know his name, but there's somewhere over the rainbow guy. Well, it's something like that. It's Tiptoe Through the Tulips, yes. It's Tiny oh, Tim. Oh, Tiny Tim. Tiptoe yeah. Through the Tulips. That kind of thing. Dan, yes. incessant or most of the time? Uh, most of the time. Why not? Just, why, Dan? Why Why just most of the time? Everyone needs a break. Okay, Dan. That's why that's... we have guests on the podcast, so I can have a break from training at AOB. <laughs> Then electrical stimulation, cupping, or red light therapy? Probably the electrical stimulation one. Then when you come back to Vegas, can I try some on you? I've got a lot of devices. You might really enjoy it. Why not? Okay, good. We'll make Dan, a video out of that. Okay, yeah, we should We should definitely video that. Your, your wife's very good at doing that, but may, I'm going to have my left side showing to the camera. It's my, my good side's over here, they tell me. So I hear. Dan, kiss goodbye or hug hello? Uh, a hug hello. That was too easy. I knew that was coming. Dan, make up for lost time or find your makeup just in time? Uh, make up for lost time. With who, Dan? I don't know. Whoever needs it. How about your brother who you forgot to give the gift to? I speak to him sometimes. It's fine. I, t I said we got him a Christmas present this year. We don't only do Christmas presents. Like, me and my brothers have all agreed, since I live over here, we and we normally just be giving each other money for birthdays and Christmas. We just don't do birthdays and Christmas presents. So because we didn't get the wedding gift, we just got him a Christmas present this year. It's fine. It's all sorted. Dan, you do your hair. You dye your hair. We know you paint your nails. Do you actually apply any real makeup to the face? Usually, no. I've worn eyeliner in the past, but it's just too much hassle. You know who else has worn eyeliner in the past? Uh, a lot of people. Okay, that's true. And David Cohen. I, would, I would say, I would say, worldwide, probably about half the people at least have worn eyeliner at yes. some point. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Okay, uh, Pokemon uh, or Lorcana? Pokemon. I'm obviously. just checking, Dan. After today, I had to make sure I put that in there to make sure with this whole Star Wars, Lorcana, and everything else on the podcast except Pokemon. Yeah, because I do the podcast with you about. Pokemon. So I do other podcasts about other card games, and I mention Pokemon briefly on there, and I mention the other part, the other card games briefly on here. It's Dan, fine. If you had mistresses, would you briefly mention your wife to them, or briefly mention to your wife that you had them? No. Okay, fine. Then be careful with the whole briefly right. stuff. Dan does not meet meets or exceeds expectations. Uh, exceeds expectations. 
hopefully. Dan, you're going to find out that those are actually ratings you'll find uh, when you go and get a real job someday. And hopefully you will exceed expectations and they won't uh, fire you and you'll be back podcasting again. I mean, the ratings for a lot of things. It's not just jobs. Then, I think Laura gets those Laura gets those ratings at um, Pokemon Regionals. She works for a living. Two jobs and Pokemon, buddy. Take an example. My goodness. Dan, close to the vest or pump out your chest? Uh, close to the vest. Which I, I still don't think... I think the saying is close to the chest. <laughs> not in but the I, United you, States, it's not. No. So it's you would say like... So like you would say like keep your cards close to your vest. Close to your vest. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, okay. Dan, marinate and wait or just go out on a date? Uh, just go out on a date. All right. When you go out, might you get marinated food? I don't know. Maybe. All right. Fair enough. We were out for dinner last night because Laura's parents were in town. Really? So it wasn't really a date. It was a family uh, family meal. That's really nice. Where did you go? I have a place called Bravo, an Italian restaurant. Very nice. That's good. I'm glad. How, are they just in for the day? Uh, they were here for a few days, I think. They were they're staying with Laura. I think they're staying with Laura's aunt and uncle. Okay. Who live in Columbus. A Very car nice. crashed through the uh, window of the restaurant while we were in there. What? Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, we were sitting at the table and there was a loud bang from up front and someone's car had skidded and just came like straight in through like a big... Like full full uh, wall size window. Like look, it was like right behind the hostess station. Luckily, no one was sitting there. Just the whole thing caved inwards. The car didn't fully come into the restaurant because they must have braked enough in time, but it put the whole window in. Dan, does that affect your dining experience? Like, did you guys still give a tip? I I hope they did, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they still left a sizable tip. They were still fine. They oh. they didn't not tip because there was a loud bang in the restaurant at some point. Makes sense, Dan. Yeah, I didn't. I don't. I was just asking, just in general. Dan, metal detector or radiation protector? Um, a um, metal detector, because I've had one of those before as a kid. When you go down the beach with your metal detector. So then, when I've you go to been, the dentist, I, I've never. You, when you go to the dentist, you don't let them lay that thing across your uh, your chest or your vest when you're trying to take your X rays. Yeah, but I never do do that that often. You do that more often than use the, the, the metal detector. I know, but when I use the metal detector, it's I, if I use a metal detector, because I want to. If I have a radiation protector, it's because I need it. So I'd rather be doing something I want to do rather than something I need to do. Understood. I've man. had way more. I think over the course of my life, I definitely think I've had way more chest x-rays than I've had mouth x-rays. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and guess what? When you have a chest x-ray, they still put, sometimes they'll put the protector along your privates and stuff. So be careful. Dan, Barbie or Ken? Uh, Bobby. I never had either. I had Action Man. You, you probably don't wished, know who Action you Man You never is. wished you could be Ken, Dan? Not really. You didn't wish you were Ken just so you could date Barbie? No. Dan, is there a UK Barbie? Yes, but Barbie is a global thing. But I say a- Action Man, I think, is a UK only thing, right? You don't have Action Man, do you? I don't get any I action, I, yeah. I don't get any action at uh, all, Dan. Action Man is, I guess, the UK equivalent of G.I. Joe. He's, I just have to stop. Let me, let me just breathe. I can't even talk to you stuff. right now. With your hair would mean that you at least thought about Barbie. I don't know. Okay. Dan, you're, and we know you're a big beans guy, okay? So, Lima, Pinto, Black, Refried, or Fava? Genuinely do not like any sort of beans. What? <laughs> Genuinely do not eat beans in any form. Wow. Do, do okay. not like the taste of any beans. Dan, I know you're lactose intolerant. Is the bean situation a taste thing or is it just part of the lactose thing as well? It's a taste thing. I don't okay. think beans have lactose in them. No, but I mean they both come out the wrong end. Okay, Dan, dark patch or dark claw? Uh, Dark patch. It was a very, very playable card for a long time. Still is, I think. I've been playing you for years, buddy. It's a lot of fun. Dan, Chatot or Chatbot? Chatot. I love Chatot. So you don't like AI? No. <laughs> Genuinely, no, I don't. Dan, do you think it's okay if kids these days are in university setting and they go to ChatGPT as a chatbot and basically create their papers from that? 
Uh, no, because it's all plagiarized. Because <laughs> ChatGPT and learning things like that, they learn from other things that someone else has written. So if they're doing it like that, like that, it's plagiarized. <laughs> so no, it's not okay. So if you're a child with a learning disability and this allows you a way to equally with others communicate in a better way and formulate some thoughts in an organized fashion by using a tool that's out there to create better situations for potential learning, you're not okay with that? I'm okay with them using things like that to learn. I don't think having it write a paper for you is okay, no matter what disabilities you have. You can't just say, here is a paper that I wrote and turn in something from ChatGPT because that's plagiarized work. If there are AI ways of helping people learn, sure, they can use them, but that's not what you asked. Dan, you know the UK is famous for its royal family, and they have a lot of wealth behind them. So if their children had special needs and they hired people to write their papers for them, and I mean, they, they do when I'm not okay with it. Okay, fine. <laughs> they absolutely do that anyway, and I, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, all right, I just want to make sure. Dan, Tynamo or Catch a Tiger by the Toe? Uh, Tynamo. Dan, is catch a tiger by the toe something you say in the UK, or do you say catch a tiger on your chest? I mean, they they now say tiger. It has very problematic origins, that rhyme. Okay. I don't know much about it, because I'm not an origins yeah, I, guy. I just... We, we absolutely should not go into it. Okay, good then. Dan, find... You want to go into it, or should we move on? No, God, no. Let's move on. Uh, Rusty, we're sorry for the, the G-O-D, he said. Uh, finding a pawn yard at the pawn shop or finding a land yard at the lawn shop? Uh, I The first one. <laughs> Dan, put your oh, mask on or take your mask off? Uh, take your mask off because I'm in the house. I don't need it right now. So you're not going to, you don't going to play your mask? What? What do you mean I'm not going to play your mask? The card is Y-A-M-A-S-K. It's part of the set yeah, we're I know, about but... to do. You're going to yeah, take it off. Yeah. You're in the house. I don't need it. Also, your mask just like kidnaps people's souls and stuff. It's okay. a really creepy Pokemon. Dan, twist Mountain, Mountain Dew, or twist off the cap of a Mountain Dew? Uh, twist Mountain, because I don't like the taste of Mountain Dew. Dan, exploring in the dark or being a dark explorer where dark could mean either your skin color or state of mind? Uh, being a dark explorer and state of mind, having very, very dark thoughts about myself while exploring. <laughs> I spend the, oh, that's I good stuff. Yeah. Sorry, right. when, I'm up, when I'm at 4 a.m. editing this nonsense, I will be have exploring some very dark thoughts. I'm sorry, my friend. It's good to see you're at least waking up at 4 p.m. when there's no place to sleep in the bed. Dan, I'm I done. Let's move on to highlighted cards. Yes, what are we doing? Do you want to guess? Stock Explorers. That was a clip from Coffee Talks, a Pokemon card collecting podcast. Check out the full episode here or see a playlist of all our episodes. We hope you enjoy.